Okay. All right. Bryce Hopple, messy day out there. Very messy. <laughs> that was a little chaotic. It was. I was a little frustrated that we didn't just get to run our race, but I mean, we made it happen still, and it was a little pushing and shoving, but we made it out at the end of the day. And it was a good race. At one point, it looked like you almost put your hands up. Was that like a braking motion, and more of like I didn't, I didn't push? It was more so just like oh, let me out of here. I, I don't want to be a part of this, and just let me keep running. But you know, it was, it was a little physical, and luckily we got out of there without falling down. Keep the balance, and yeah, hopefully. A couple of the other athletes said they wished that the first lap was a little bit quicker, so there wasn't so much traffic. Do you think that? They all expected like CJ to go out or someone else to take it. Out I think a little we were harder. expecting CJ to take it a little bit. I mean, we can't rely on him completely. I was feeling very fit going into the race, so personally, I wish I would have gotten out quicker so I could have taken it. But I found myself kind of boxed in. Me and Clay were kind of joking about it. I was like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna let you out." And so it was kind of tough not to be able to just like get out and let the stride go. But I mean, we made it work and came down the home stretch and got the job done. So. How optimistic are you for Budapest? I'm very optimistic. Training is going super well. I'm healthy and training. It's I'm. I'm excited. I think we can do some big things, and I'm just excited to get in fast races. What was like the last thing you told yourself before the gun went off on the line? I mean, I I just wanted to go quick. I was gonna leave everything out there. I was gonna push it as hard as I could. Unfortunately, got a little box, but I mean, I was just excited to be out there and make a team. So it's, it went to perfection. And what might coach be saying afterwards after the the race? Uh, I think he said run your race. That's the thing he always likes to reiterate. But it was it was a tough to run your race kind of day, and so. Uh, he always tells me to stay strong, especially with the pushing and shoving. I've let it get to me before, but we made it happen. So. Absolutely. I think before I would have gotten a little frustrated. I think that's gotten to my head before. I, I kind of let it get to my head in LA. I, I got pushed and shoved a little bit and got frustrated and just kind of didn't run how I wanted to run. But now it's just like always focused. Even if those impediments do get to you like I felt strong enough to make it happen no matter what and so I was excited I had that experience to just keep keep pushing it. So what's the key in training when you like rehearse or prepare for something like this? Because you I'm sure the coach prepares you to say, okay, no matter what, you have to be powerful the last one fifty. Yeah, I feel like that's something that always come naturally. Uh, I think we we work on it really well with like cut downs and stuff. Uh, we've never really had to focus on that all too much. I've I've always just kind of relied on having that last kick, and it's, it hasn't failed me quite yet. So. I still rely on it. Have you ever been tempted to try the 1500 meters, either seriously or just to do it? I think maybe eventually we'll give it another shot. I know I tried it out here in Oregon for the, like the Oregon relays one time. Didn't go quite well, uh, but I think we'll ramp up the endurance at some point and maybe give it a shot. What do you think makes you feel like you're going to medal this year? And you, this confidence is like next level right now that you're exuding. I'm very confident. I think this is the first time where I'm finally like training and healthiness and like everything is just coming together to where I just want to get out there and compete for medals. And I don't know, I've, I've been confident going into this and even with how everything went, I was like, all right, we still got to get the win. And I, I'm just excited. <laughs> Excited to be back at that stage and, and give it a real shot. So, well, even segueing off that, isn't it harder to to win a race for medal than yeah, to be towed to one forty three two? Absolutely, I think. That is one thing about the Diamond League races is like you know you're gonna have those pacers take you through like 500 and so you can kind of shut off your brain just like all right I'm gonna follow them and go for a time. Whereas this I felt like I was engaged and I heard yellow flag, people were shoving and you so you just have to like it's a, it's a completely different kind of racing and championship racing is so much harder and it's tough sometimes. You, just, you gotta battle other guys, yeah. Definitely. Good luck. Yeah.